Hi, welcome to the video. In this video, I will show you a quick walkthrough of the VTigger and Google Sync. And also, I will show you the bidirectional syncing of events and contacts between VTigger and Google. Let's start the video. First, navigate to the main menu and click on Tools and select Google Calendar. The Google Sync app configuration page will be displayed. Before getting into the syncing process, you need to configure the VTigger Google Calendar Sync. Click on App Settings on the left sidebar. Now click on Edit option. For configuration, you need to add the Google API key, Client ID and Client Secret. You can easily get it from Google Developer Console. Browse the Google Developer Console on your browser. On the API and Services page, click on Credential from the menu. Now click on Create Credentials and select the API key to get your API key. Just copy your API key created and paste it on the Developer Key field of the App Settings page. Next, on the Create Credentials, click on Over Client ID from the drop down. In this pop up, select the application type as Web Application. Provide the client name and authorize redirect URL. Copy the redirect URL from the app settings of the extension and paste it on the Google Developer Console. Then click on Create button. You can see the client ID and client secret. Just copy the client ID and paste it on the client ID of the configuration page. Then copy the client secret of the Google Developer Console and paste it on the client secret of the configuration page. Once done with the configuration, click on Save. Ensure that you have enabled the Google People API, otherwise it will show an authorization error. Then for the syncing process, you need to configure the historical sync settings. Now click on the historical sync tab on the left side menu and click on the edit option. Enable this checkbox to synchronize events between your Google Calendar and VTigger CRM Calendar. Here choose any one of the event types from the drop down. Example, if you have chosen it as call, then all the events synced from the Google Calendar to VTigger CRM will display the event type value as call. Now select the event priority from the drop down. All the sync events from the Google Calendar will have a priority. The priority may be high, medium or low. It also has the event status value you have chosen here. And choose the status of the event, planned, held or not held from the drop down. When you no longer need to sync all your existing event, you can use this option a specific database splitter. Here enter the start date and time for sync from Google. Based on the date and time you have mentioned, the events and contacts are synced from Google Calendar to VTG CRM. On the start date and time for sync to Google, mention the date and time for synchronization here. Only the events and contacts between the specified date and time will be synchronized from VTigger CRM to Google. And finally, enable this checkbox to synchronize the contacts between your Google contact and VTigger CRM contact. Once done with the configuration, click on Save. The next is the authorization. After completing the configuration, click on Click here to authorize.
here you should choose an account in which you need to sync the Google Calendar and contacts. Click on allow. Here you can see your Gmail account as the authorized account. Once you authorize, the icon changes to revoke authentication. This revoke authentication will be used only in a case when you change your authorized Gmail account. There is no need to get the client ID and client secret every time. This extension has an excellent feature that it allows single user as well as the multiple users. Any number of CRM users may connect with this extension with their own Gmail account. Thus, every user can sync their own Google events and Google contacts with the Vitigal CRM and the synced record will be assigned as their own record. Ok, let's start the syncing process. The CRM fields and Google Calendar fields are already mapped. To verify the field mapping in which each Vitigal CRM field and Google Calendar field are related, click on Mapped fields. For synchronization, first I create a contact in VTGA CRM by clicking on the contact module. Fill in all the required information and click on save. Next, we create an event by clicking on the VTGAR calendar. Then click on the add event. Here I name the event as project review and set the time of the event. Fill in all the necessary details and click on save. The event has been successfully created in a VTGAR CRM. I have already created an another event as project to view on different date and time. Now click on sync to Google on the historical sync tab. You can see it shows two events created and one contact created. Let us check it on the Google contacts. Here you can see the VTGAR contacts have been Synced as a Google contact. Now we check it in Google Calendar. Here is our event project review that was created in Bitigal. As this extension sync events and contacts bidirectionally, we will see how the Google events and contacts are synced to Bitigal CRM. For that, I am creating an event on Google Calendar by clicking on the create icon and then selecting an event. Here I name the event as group discussion. Then fill in all details and click on save. Then on Google contact, I am creating a contact as sample name. Now click on sync from Google on the historical sync tab. Ok, let us check whether the contacts and events are synced from Google to VTGAR. Navigate to your VTGAR Google Calendar Sync extension. Go to the contacts module. Here you can see the contact sample name has been synced from Google to VTGAR. Now open the VTGAR calendar.
the event group discussion has been synced to the vtigger calendar and note that i have set utc time format in my vtigger crm while my google calendar uses ist format Next, we go for the audit section. With this, we can also view and verify the successful and unsuccessful sync status between the Google Calendar and VTG CRM. For that, click on Audit section on the left side menu. Here, you can see the contacts and events are bidirectionally synced successfully. You can also search for any particular sync by providing the name of the sync and clicking on search. Now it will display only the sync that we selected. This is all you need to know about the VTigger Google Calendar and Contact Sync. Hope this video will be helpful. Thanks for watching.